The diet is quite complex. It's, yes, in a way, customized to both of our pilots. Uh, it's based on their nutritional needs. Uh, it's also customized in, in, a, in a sense to offer a lightweight, energy-dense, nutritionally balanced menu. And it's also based on reward. We want to reward the pilots. Food is an emotional aspect and it can offer quite a high level of motivation when you find yourself alone for five days and nights in a, in a cold cockpit. The menu is based on everyday food items. So yes, it's quite scientifically rich, but it's also something which is sustainable. So we base it on the pilot's preferences, what they like to eat, what their tastes are. Uh, we had many tastings to allow them to discover the many options which we could provide, and then to choose what's more uh, based on their preferences and their, their favorite items to eat. The pilot suit allows the pilot thermal regulation through several different me uh, means. First, we operate in layers. He has layers which he can add on or remove when he gets hot or cold. And he also has several different openings which he can open. So he has a, a quite high level of flexibility to thermal regulate his, uh, his temperature. We also use uh, base layers which are wicking. They bring moisture away from the body and they're quick drying. And then when it's cold, we use uh, similar technology to uh, mountaineers who climb to Everest, thick down filled with feathers. Uh, jackets which really insulate very well the, the body temperature. In extreme cold conditions, not only does the pilot have his thermal regulation with his downfilled jacket and his cold clothing, he also has uh, heated gloves and heated soles. So he can, with a flip, uh, flip of a switch, turn on some heating to his hands and, and feet, which are areas which are often the first areas to get cold and, and offer you some, some extra warmth.